Welcome back to another Master Duel video. We got Exo Sisters right back here. Exo Sisters and Magistus, because we like to run Magistus with the Sisters. I think it's a pretty decent combo, especially Triss Magistus. And even Zorua, in most cases. Um, and Crowley, too. And Reliona. So, boom, we just went through the Magistus. But thank you for all the comments on the previous. Extra sister video gave me some ideas like someone suggested to add fairy tale snow just to throw her away and the following turn she could come out and be a disruption and she's also level four spellcaster so thank you for that comment really appreciate it and for the rest let's just get straight to it we got ellis at three because she special summons stella at three because she can make a different exo sister special summon irene and sophia each at two because they don't special summon but they have their own draw effects, so that's decent. Martha at three because she special summons two Exo Sisters. <laughs> She's a free XZ summon off rip. That's crazy. Change of heart I added. I added this card. I don't know. I just added change of heart. Just felt like it because I feel like I had a couple dead cards here. So why not? I've never used this card before. So let's just have change of heart. So a couple Magistus cards that aren't too important. These two. But, but Ritra came in clutch, I think. Uh, Triss Magistus, of course. Carpa Divum. Could have its moments. Call by the Grave, you need. Forbidden Droplets, pretty good. Along with Infinite, your staples. We got three packs, because you need packs for Exorcist. There's one Armit. Because it won't come in handy too much, but it has its moments. Two Vadises. Could be decent. And a return here because it banishes, so it's crazy. It's pretty extra deck. We got Iowas. Won't see too much. All the Magistuses, you won't see too much because we kind of turned this deck into mainly an Exo Sister deck with the help of Magistus occasionally. But yeah, you can still bring out Zorua sometimes and equip them with, you know, thing, you know, really own it. I think I have their purpose. But Mikhailis is crazy. She's good. Same thing with Caspitone. It's really good. Gabrine, decent. Uh, Sonfield is also pretty decent. Magnifica is pretty crazy. And Artemis is pretty good for the Magistus stuff. But either way, hope you enjoy the replay. Please like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. I don't know why it sounds like an ending, but enjoy it, please. Mayakashi, huh? Zombie World Mayakashi? Interesting, interesting. I've never seen a Mayakashi deck. Um... Because I'm pretty sure they're not good. Unfortunately. Because I like I like some of their art. I didn't even know about some of these synchro monsters. Like I didn't know about that one. Or this one. And this play they're pulling off is kind of crazy. Daki. Yo that's a cool card. Like I, that Mayakashi I knew. And I was like damn that card is pretty cool. So wow that's their play. Like, they could just keep climbing up like this. And I know that card too because I have it. Yeah, they really could just keep climbing, and now now they're gonna link climb. They synchro climb, and now they link climb. That's crazy how many times this card could be used. I mean, it's crazy, but does it really help them too much? It definitely fills up the graveyard for a fact, though. Look at all those synchro monsters. Golly. How many? They have seven cards left in their extra deck. And then that's the end board, huh? I draw. I will use. I will summon. Normal summon Zorua. Okay, they're getting something off. Oh, you could draw a card. You could do a lot. Whoa. I missed his animation. Special stuff from the graveyard, you pop a card. Okay, that's pretty decent, that's pretty decent. And you're setting Ghost Meets Girl. Oh, that's the new card. I was still figuring out a way if I wanted to implement that. Um, in my zombie deck? Maybe, maybe. But it's a UR, man, that's kind of crazy. And now I use Carpa Divum. I want now XZ Summon. Into my Kylas. I guess if they would have went first, well, they did go first, but if they would have had this trap, it won't show me now, but if they had that trap going first, it could have locked me out of playing, right? So that could have been good. Now, Makinus will add a Pax. 
and now Pax will allow us to give Martha to a, to give. Okay, Martha and Alice will now exist into a soul so that we can return your Yukiana back to the hand. And now we will XZ, the two XZ monsters, we XZ this turn. And XZ into Magnifica. So that we can banish. Banish the Doki, because that Doki was helping you climb like crazy. And now Carpa Diva will allow us to pop a card. We chose not to pop that card because I think you needed a Synchro monster on the field. And we don't really care about Zombie World for right now. Forbidden Droplets. Interesting. Okay, I know Forbidden Droplet is effect is after we switch, but since we switch, we still get two banishes because we exceed this turn with uh, Returnia. So Makai is gonna get negated here, but we still have two banishes with Returnia. And I guess we just pick that, doesn't really matter. And, and the game's over. But what I didn't tell you guys is we have a two first, so let's get to the next one. Alright, Exosister Magistus round two, although this is mainly an Exosister hand. We will use Stella and give us... Well, we'll use Pax. So that way we summon Sophia and we get to draw because of it. Which we really own. Okay, there's a Magistus. XZ into Caspital. Nice. Gonna use Caspital to give us Martha. Of course, of course, Martha is crazy. Use Martha. Give us Ellis. We will make, I'm pretty sure you guys can guess if you know any Exosister ever, it's Mikaela. Oh, there she is. <laughs> now we're gonna use Kylas to add a Pax to our hand. Okay, okay, okay. And set us. We, oh, we're just gonna set. We're setting like crazy. Magnifico. And that's our end board. That's our end board. So we got, you know, we got a couple banishes, we got some Exo Sister stuff if they use the graveyard. Sprite? Okay, interesting. Uh, infinite Impermanence here, of course. Since we're already banishing, we're using Magnifica right away to, yep, do that. And then, XZ right back into Makaius! It's just to bring out another one, but, now boom. Uh, if they didn't have that, we would have. That would have been the end of their turn. But now we will use Returnia to banish not one but two sprite cards. Got it, sprite jet, but you can't summon them. You have no monsters. Foolish burial goods. What the heck? Psy frame. Interesting. I will now detach material to add another card, another returning, just in case we're not underestimating these sprites. Martha comes back. Now we'll use Martha. Boom. Boom. Exes into Caspital. I'm wondering if this outfielder your brain would have given us anything. I don't think so. And now we'll summon Sophia. Oh, I see what we're doing. Stella! Summon Sophia to draw yet again. Okay. Okay. And now we'll exit back into Magnifica. Okay, yeah, you know, you know. Damn, my voice cracked too. I'm sorry. And now Gibrin. This is where we OTK. Gibrin. We'll now detach to increase our attack. Magnif. Last oh, second. <laughs> Side frame. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. That what just transpired right there was almost worst case scenario. Return your banish, banish. We don't care. Just banish it. Yes, yes. Good call. Good call. Great play. Great play. Great play. Oh my gosh, we bricked. Well, you know what I mean. Okay, can't do much there though. And that trap actually plays a part. What's that one? Something, something about a spell. Damn it! Okay, okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no. 
we don't have no stops. Well, actually, we do. We have infinite impermanence. We were saving it for the longest. Does does do sprites use graveyard effects? Okay. In case you guys were asking, why didn't you use Vadis when Cyframe Overlord came out? It's because it happened before I was able to activate it. Okay. I know someone was thinking that. All right. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Oh, they're going straight to battle. I was hoping. No, my. It's not the green. Okay, thank you for destroying that one. So they don't know that those cards go right back into the deck because I didn't do anything with them. Cool boy. Okay, now here's the biggest brain play you've ever seen. We will link away really. I guess I could have done this last turn, right? So maybe not the biggest brain. <laughs> oh. That's it, negate, ain't it? Triss Magistus! Magistus Vitra! To summon really own a back on the field! And since we added a Magistus, Artemis will now go into the spell trap zone. And now give me invocation. Now we'll use Artemis to give us Zoroa. Summon. And now we will synchro. Boom, Zorua! Look at that, look at the Magistus! We started with Exosisters, we got cooked, but then the Magistuses came out. They came out to play, this is why you run combo decks. Okay, he got, uh, I got negated and destroyed. However, he can come right back by destroying a card. Boom! Unfortunately, he won't have any mo well, we'll give him Artemis, but I kind of wanted to give the XZ one. Never mind, never mind, never mind. They really didn't want me to have Zoro out there. Alright. Well, we're kind of in a stalemate. Hopefully they don't have nothing. Okay, well, that's fine if you drew that. And that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. Well, sprites really can't do anything with a one card combo anyway, right? I hope. However, I have Vetra again. This is why we drew two. Look at this. We bring back Zorua. He can use his effect now. Look at the Magistus taking over. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I told you guys it was mainly an Exorcister deck. But look at the Magistus coming in. Clutch. That was pretty good. And again, Sprite too. So that's a personal W for me as well. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Please consider liking and subscribing. It really means a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.